overview of the intrusion prevention okay all right so let's look at the four words currently malware is the most common form of security threats okay while the impact of the grayware is increasingly and security threats uh, correlated to crimes have been critical to network security okay um, now I think uh, yesterday we also spoke about the malware yeah so there are many forms of malware um, it could be viruses um, hackers intrusion Trojan horses botnet spyware and etc etc so instead of dealing only with viruses attack, users now have to fence off a combination of so many different threats. Um, so the current defense mechanisms struggle to mitigate such attack. Okay? So this course will explain what intrusion is and describe to what degree our Huawei USG firewall product supports the intrusion prevention. So Upon completion of this uh, course, we should be able to describe the different types of uh, intrusion prevention and to be able to understand the, uh, the network antivirus policy, deploy the, uh, the policy. Alright, so we break this into three topics, okay, Intru intrusion overview, Intrusion Prevention System Overview, which in short is called IPS, and then we also have the Network Antivirus Overview. So let's look at the uh, network threats in today's uh, network. Um, network threats such as viruses no longer only target computer systems. Okay. Um, instead, they are also used for financial gain, right? And uh, this is uh, causing conventional computer viruses and other network threats to evolve into interest-driven and all-round network threats. Okay, so these are actually uh, from the viruses, you know, from the beginning of the uh, computing era. You know, we actually know about viruses, right? And it affects. Uh, uh, PC most of the time, right? And after that, uh, it becomes so many different types of uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, s like spyware, you know, Trojan horses, okay, um, worm, and so all this we, we actually uh, give a name, call them malware because it's called malicious uh, code, okay. Um, and also we have something called the uh, rootkit, you know, uh, backdoors and etc. etc. So this is actually uh, the the software pieces, okay. And uh, this is the the network pieces, the network type of uh, attack, which is example like denial of services attack, okay. And uh, this this kind of attack, it doesn't uh, the in, the whole intention is not to to try to gain access for any. Um, information, but it's basically just to bring down the uh, the services. For example, to bring down the web server, or maybe to bring down the DNS services. Okay, and after that, we also have to worry about hackers' uh, intrusion. Okay. All right. So first, let's talk about the intrusion by hackers. Now, hackers and malicious empl employees um, may exploit the system. And software vulnerabilities to intrude into servers and putting the security of data from um, key services at risk. Okay, so um, now there are times where the um, uh, the uh, risk is actually a hacker from outside the internet tries to penetrate into through our router, uh, maybe through a firewall into the system, uh, into some of the the server. Okay, like for example, web server or maybe email server or maybe FTP server. Okay, this is a, a kind of uh, intrusion, uh, and sometimes we also need to worry about employees. All right, so especially for organization uh, like, like Huawei, we have like hundred over thousand employees. You know, how can you be sure that all the employees they are not um, they are not at risk? Okay, because there must be you know somehow. Um, there are employees which is you know they are maybe 
as a spy, or maybe they are unhappy with the the the, the boss, and they they try to to uh, mess up with the system before they leave the company, etc., etc. So these are uh, are the things that we need to concern about. Okay, and also the worm. Okay, sometimes uh, this is intentionally. Um, some employees bring the laptop back home or connect to any public internet and they, they got affected and they come back to office and then the worm will spread the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, system, right? <coughs> right, so DDoS attack, okay? Now, DDoS attack uh, launches, okay, for financial gain, um, continuously disrupt the normal operation of enterprises and these attacks are becoming increasingly harmful okay this is actually very true um, so there are so many forms of the uh, the the DOS attack now you sh the, the the word do DDoS comes from the word distributed D stands for distributed DOS stands for denial of services it, that means to to prevent somebody from using a certain services. Um, now these are maybe some of the, the popular types of the uh, DDoS attack. Uh, the first is called SYN flood. SYN flood actually is a kind of attack where they make full use of the TCP uh, three-way handshake. Right. So as we know that, um, as we learned in the in the routing and switching class, uh, TCP uh, before any uh, connection for the TCP uh, application, let's say this is the PC and this is the server, and uh, they will actually perform what we call the three-way handshake. So the first handshake is actually from PC towards uh, the server, and uh, they will actually put in the TCP packet and, and they will check the flag uh, sync. All right, and uh, the server is expected to send back with uh, the flag or we call sync acknowledgement two flags okay sync and acknowledgement okay and uh, the server will actually waited for some time for the PC to come back with acknowledgement okay so this is supposedly the the common three-way handshake um, so this kind of attack means uh, sin flood attack basically means when when the the attacker sends sync packet to server, and the server comes back with sync acknowledgement, and this attacker will then stop here. You know he will not send back, okay, the uh, acknowledgement. So, and what does this mean to a server? Now, if if this is only one session, like one per one user connect to the server, it doesn't mean anything. You know it doesn't hurt the server anything at all. Because the the memory and the CPU resources used by the server to pre preserve this session is very little, okay. And usually, typically, the server will wait for a, a couple of uh, tens of tens of seconds to even two minutes uh, before they actually close the session, okay. So, um, but what if this is like distributed DOS, distributed DOS? So, example, we have like. 100,000 of machine <laughs> are being um, being a zombie we call it zombie all right you know like the the one in the movie uh the 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 walking death you know so we have thousands and thousands of zombie machines and launches this similar attack you know synced and then the the server come back with synced acknowledgement and then finally the server will you know this is like we are talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands or probably millions of session like this and it probably could bring down the server okay yeah this is actually what we call the uh, uh, the sin flood okay now botnet means uh, those machine which is already affected by the uh, uh, the uh, the software yeah by the malware and uh, they become a, a, a network of uh, zombies okay uh, and also we also have a kind of attack which is uh, sending lots of lots of uh, UDP a packet, uh, the flooding packet to to the server, and to bring down the uh, services. Uh, and we also have a kind of attack which is sending the uh, ICMP uh, ping request. Okay, so because again, every time when you send a ping request, we're expecting the server to respond with the uh, ping reply. 
and uh, sometimes we send um, you know a typical ping packet is about like 32 bytes okay 32 bytes of uh, uh, messages right and uh, what what if we send more than 32 bytes let's say for example uh, 64k <laughs> 64 kilobytes of information of a ping packet to the server and then we are sending lots and lots of them let's say for example like 100,000 of a request packet to the server and uh, that may also cause the server to to paralyze okay um, and also we have a bunch of other user which is normal user they are legitimate user they are genuine user and they try to serve the they try to access to the the, the company uh, maybe through VPN or maybe try to access to some of the application server or email server which they can't because this the, this session here the pipe here has been overwhelmed with all the uh, unnecessary packet okay and we also have something called the CNC attack all right so this is called the control catch attack all right so control catch attack um, so one of the example is like uh, if the company is um, uh, has um, a web page and especially when you have a, a search column <laughs> all right so this can be uh, can be pretty uh, nasty for the um, hacker where they will actually keep send a request to search and keep searching and searching and just to perform a search from your from your from your server because as we know when the server start searching something and it will consume CPU memory right if it's one search it's okay but if it's thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands and, and uh, query at the same time you may probably bring down the server okay uh, finally we have this smurf <laughs> attack now this smurf is not our animation smurf you know the cartoon no this is uh, this is a kind of attack which is actually not popular anymore where we actually send uh, a, a, a broadcast packet for let's say for example ping request and then we expect to have to, to receive a lot of a uh, ping reply to the to the server okay smurf attack um, all right so next we move on to viruses and malware okay so I think uh, I already mentioned uh, more than enough uh, viruses is very uh, 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 very painful uh, if any PC affected by viruses and malware and increasing uh, numbers of enterprise services application depends on the IT information service information, sorry information system the operation of services is under threat from viruses, Trojan horse, and probably spyware. Okay, and um, yeah, this is actually very true, especially when some of the uh, the user they are desperate of uh, you know try to look for any uh, crack software instead of paying the software, and most of the crack software, as I mentioned yesterday, like for example the key generator, or maybe they will ask you to. Uh, after you install the uh, original software, just replace this file, the exe, to another file, exe, whatever, which is already being uh, being patched, and uh, you can have the free software, you know. And uh, most likely, the the one that they mentioned, the patch software, the one that's already been patched, the exe file, it could be a, a, a spyware, okay. So spyware is something is something where they 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 always try to steal your information uh, some of the spyware they can collect your your keystroke you know for any website that you try to log in you know they will collect all the http uh, entry that you mentioned uh, and also your username and the password and then they will send back this information uh, to the uh, dedicated uh, host all right so these are spyware okay very nasty Trojan horses, you know, some of the Trojan horses, they are the the software that enables the backdoor. Uh, you know, once you load this uh, piece of software, uh, they, it will open up a backdoor to the uh, to the hacker, so the hacker can uh, easily access to your computer and try to uh, you know read your information, try to access to your web camera, or maybe try to access to your to your microphone or whatever. Okay, viruses malware. All right. So what is an intrusion? Okay, what is an intrusion? Um, all right. 
so what are the similarity of the precision network threads? So network threads, we have uh, different types of uh, categories, a category. Um, so we have unauthorized access where we, um, so which means hacker intrusion. So hacker uh, forcefully or maybe un uh, unauthorizedly try to access our network. Uh, DOS attack, okay, DOS attack, nobody want to welcome DOS attack. So, and also uh, viruses and malware, if you do not have your uh, anti antivirus up to date, uh, you might uh, introduce, uh, it, it, sorry, the antivirus might not be able to scan the, the, the latest viruses, you know. So this is what we call the unauthorized access, okay. All these are managed to, to enter into your PC or into your environment. Uh, then we also have unauthorized tampering, okay. Now tampering means uh, like for example, the hacker they manage to intrude, intrude your computers, or maybe intrude your network, and whatever traffic that pass through uh, the gateway, you know, uh, it actually managed to enter into the hacker's uh, PC, and then the hacker will modify the information before sending out, you know. So this is called tamper tampering. Okay. Uh, same goes for some of the viruses and malware. Uh, they, some of the viruses malware can also do something similar, right? They can also uh, pretend you are the, uh, like the, yesterday I, I spoke about the Weibo, uh, something like a Chinese uh, Twitter in China, Weibo, where uh, once the person are, are affected by the uh, malware and this, uh, this viruses actually tries to imitate that you are the sender and you actually send to all your uh, friends in your list as as a, as a personal message, okay? Yeah, tempering the uh, your information and also unauthorized <laughs> damage. Uh, this is even worse, okay? You probably might lose all your data because of a hacker intrude your system, your server, wipe off all your information, uh, DOS attack. Yeah, DOS attack could also one of the the reason that could bring down your server, not only to bring down your server, and could, it probably it could also uh, jeopardize your hard disk. Maybe they will speed up all your hard disk and let your hard disk uh, you know, work um, out of ordinary and you might eventually crash your, your physical hardware of your hard drive and then therefore it crashes your, your data. Okay? Um, and also yeah, viruses and malware. Some of the viruses are very nasty they will go into your machine they will find all your exe files and they might try to delete everything so that uh, you can't able to boot up your operating system yeah damage your machine all right so an intrusion is an unauthorized attempt uh, to access information resource system resources tempering this with system data and paralyze the system i just mentioned that the purpose of an intrusion is to compromise the system integrity, confidentiality, availability, and controllability. Okay, so yesterday we spoke about this. Yeah, in the integrity of the information uh, from from user A sent to user B, uh, the the contents are not, are not supposed to be tempered. Yeah, confidentiality is about the secret secrecy. Secrecy, um, secrecy of your uh, information and ability means uh, you know who can access uh, the information at what time or by who and also controllability you know who um, has the authority to perform read or write and etc etc 